two on sewing, or to use its full name, two sheets on sewing, means to sew on two sections at once. Middleton says, two on sewing was widely used early in the 17th century in retail work and continued in popular use until the last quarter of the 19th, by which time book sewing machines were to be found in most wholesale binderies. It is clear from the fact that even the thinnest books were thus sewn that the object was to save time and not to reduce swelling, the later being the main reason for its use in, in hand binderies today. And even machine sewing could be sped up this way. As Middleton says, the main reason for craft binders to use two on sewing is to reduce the swell. With this video, I'm going to pretend that I'm doing it for speed. So the other thing a trade binder would do for speed is to saw in the kettle stitch and sewing locations. So I'm going to use this as an excuse to uh, demonstrate that. I'm using a little English gent saw with fairly fine teeth. The depth of the cut that I'm aiming for is deep enough to just touch the center fold in each section. I'm trying to keep the saw as horizontal as possible and I'm using my knuckle to keep the saw uh, vertical and as a guide to uh, hit the lines. I squeeze the sections together with my fingers to uh, increase the density to make it cut like wood. All the cuts were almost the perfect depth except for this last one which was slightly too deep but not too deep as to worry about. Setting up is the same as setting up for any other tape sewing. Two on sewing can also be used uh, on cords as well. It's exactly the same. You can also do three on or even more on sewing. However, the more sections you put on at a time, the less support there is for each section. As you'll soon see, not every section has a kettle stitch, which creates a weakness at the head and the tail of the sewing. So that the sewing isn't too weak at the shoulders, the first and last three sections should be sewn all along. It's a bit hard to see, but you can see that uh, my saw cuts just touch the inside of the section, which was what I was aiming for. So I'll speed this up fairly quickly because uh, you don't need to see um, three sections being sewn all along. I'm going to sew three sections all along, then two lots of two sections, two on, then two lots of three sections, three on, then go back to two lots of two sections, two on, and then finally three sections all along. So that'll be 20 sections in total, and even though I'm not very skilled at this type of sewing, it'll be a lot faster than if I was sewing the 20 sections all, all along. So this is the start of the first pair two on, but unfortunately I managed to put my head in front of the camera for most of it. And no one needs to see that, so I um, skip that. But there's three more chances to see two on sewing.
to make it easier to find the center of the lower sections, I'll throw a bone folder in to mark uh, that location. I'm sure there's better ways to do that, but uh, that works for me. With three on sewing, you can see this last section really doesn't have much thread inside of it. Here you can clearly see how two sections miss out on kettle stitches. It also means you have to be very careful about over tightening the kettle stitches which will push the two sections in between forward. One of the first books that I ever rebound was The Birds of Australia, the Reader's Digest version, which is a fairly large book. It was a family favourite and it had been well used and it had fallen apart to individual sections. And my brother and I used to fold up the sections and put them in our pockets to wander around looking at birds. A lot of the um, sheets had split at the spine, so when I went to rebind it, after guarding many uh, sheets, they ended up a lot of swell on the spine, so I ended up sewing it three on. With the poor reputation that uh, three on sewing has, I didn't know how it was going to last. A few years ago, I was helping my brother move house, and in amongst his books, I found this book. I asked my brother if he used the book much, and he said he used it uh, quite often. So despite the poor reputation for uh, two-on and three-on sewing, uh, this book had uh, lasted 30 years, having been sewn that way.
So what was it like to back? Well I started maybe a little more cautious than I normally do, though I always start cautiously when I'm backing a book, otherwise I couldn't really tell the difference. On the inside, once I finished this book, there was a bit more uneven uh, folding or wrinkling uh, on the inside of the sections, but it's something that only a book binder would really notice. So the verdict is that this is a useful technique for reducing the swell in large books or books with many sections.